What's up everybody, Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. I am jumping on real quick and wanted to give you kind of an explanation of the changes that are happening to the FE exam as these go into the effect the end of June of this year. Um, NCES is very famous for doing this all the time. Every once in a while they get uh, changes made to the specifications and a lot of times they drop some of the subjects that aren't so um, you know prevalent in engineering and then they combine things and move things around but I guarantee you that the core of engineering those topics are all still there and you should still be hitting a lot of that material so today we want to cover that and go over a lot of the changes that you will be seeing on the specifications uh, and what we're going to do is compare the old spec with the new spec that comes into effect uh, July 1. So if you are taking the exam uh, before July, then you should follow the old spec. If you're going to take it July 1 and on, you're going to be following the new specifications because they love to change things on you. And isn't that awesome? So let's go to the screen. I'm going to jump on and we'll go check out the specification differences. So on the, my screen, on the left-hand side, we have the new specification, which is taking effect in July of 2020. And on the right is the old spec, and maybe we should flip these around. Eh, it doesn't matter. So the right's the old one, left is the new one. So you can see right off the bat, um, what we've done on the new one is they've combined mathematics and statistics. The old one had math and then probability and statistics as two separate bodies of knowledge. Now it's combined into one. And so you've got eight to 12 questions where it used to be seven to 11 and four to six between those two. You can see they reduced the number of questions with math and uh, statistics. And so that's what you, you're getting there. Um, you're, you, if you would break that down, you still have analytic geometry, single variable calculus. They changed the title of this a little bit. Roots of equations is gone, but you have still have vector analysis and then statistics with all the normal stuff there. And the next section in the new spec is ethics and pro, uh, professional practice. You have four to six questions there. That's the same as the old one. Three is engineering economics. I don't think you're gonna have much changes there. You have five to eight questions. It used to be four to six. So, you know, you've got on the high end, two more additional questions so that you've got more questions that are thrown in uh, into that area. Now on the new spec, you've got statics and you also had statics on the old spec and you also have dynamics. Dynamics is there. Uh, four to six questions is the same. With statics, you've got an increase in one more question. With materials, materials, you still had materials in the old spec. They have four to six questions, and now you have five to eight. So you've got an increase there. Fluid mechanics, fluid mechanics, they were both there. But now you have 69 questions in the new spec, so that's been upped. Um, and yeah, so that's been upped. Surveying, you've got 69 questions, and in the old spec, where, where, where's our surveying it was way on the bottom four to six questions in surveying and now you've got six to nine so they upped that as well uh, water resources and environmental engineering so the, again they combined the topics together it used to be two separate topics because you had environmental en engineering of six to nine questions and you had hydraulics and hydrology of 8 to 12. So you've gone from um, 8 to 12 questions plus, what was the bottom one here? Uh, 6 to 9 questions. So on the high end, you know, you could have had, what, 21 questions? And now you've got 10 to 15. Okay, so that's been reduced. So water resources and environmental engineering has been reduced. So you got 10 to 15 questions there. They combined it. Structural engineering, you've got 10 to 15 questions. And we had, this was structural analysis and structural design on the old spec. And then again, that was six to nine questions and six to nine. So on the high end, you had 18 questions in structural engineering. Now you have 10 to 15. So on the high end, you got 15 questions. So there've been a little bit of reduction there as well. Uh, geotechnical, nine to 14, it used to be. Now you have 10 to 15, so that's, 
you know, maybe an increase of one question there. And transportation engineering was 8 to 12, and now you have 9 to 14. So they increased that as well, one to two problems. Lastly is construction engineering of 8 to 12. And if we go find construction engineering, which was just a combination of stuff, looks like project management, construction operations, project controls, construction estimating, and that. So where did that section go in the old spec? So in the old spec, it looks like it was just kind of scattered throughout because we didn't have a construction specific topic. Computational tools you can see is totally gone. So that's out of there. But project management stuff, where did that stuff go? Oh, uh, yeah, so we, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> wow, losing it guys. The COVID stuff is getting to me. Staying home all day. Hope you're doing well with COVID stuff, by the way. Uh, I've heard a lot of job loss, even in the civil engineering world, and as projects shut down, that's a whole nother topic. Maybe we'll do a video on it. Okay, so construction. Sorry, that took a while. <laughs> I'm losing it. Construction. You used to have four to six questions. Now you have eight to 12, so they really upped that. You probably have double the amount of questions found within there. So safety equipment, project controls, project administration documents, things of that nature has been upped. So guys, I mean, that's really it. The majority of this stuff really doesn't change. It looks like the, the what was dropped was computational tools. They combined sections together and that's what you get. And the NCES loves to do this all the time. So they'll mix things up on you all the time and it's just the nature of the game. But if you stay to the stuff that you should be studying, you're always gonna be in the right. So math and statics is always gonna be there. Uh, I mean, all the topics are still there. They're just scattered throughout. So the only thing dropped was computational tools. Guys, I think that's uh, that's really all the changes. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. In the comments, let me know what you think about the changes. Why do you think they do them so often? Uh, what do you think about that? And if you need free training on anything, if you're looking to pass the civil FE exam, we created a free on-demand webinar. If you go check that out, that's civilfereviewcourse.com slash free training. And you can get signed up and take free training today or whenever you want to. It's gonna direct you to a free on-demand webinar. You'll learn about the free resources and the best places to get problems. Really our tips and tricks on how to pass this FE exam. So it's gonna be good, good stuff. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this up. And um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to email me, Isaac at civilengineeringacademy.com, and I'd love to hear about it. But we'll see you on the next one. Bye.